Makers, welcome to Assembly Required. I'm Richard Karn. Me, Tim Allen, Richard Shoulder to cry. <laughs> Ruben, get a smaller table. Your head looks like the size of a dime. That is the largest table I've ever seen. I'm overcompensating. My name's Ruben Cubero. I currently live here in Virginia. What are some of my favorite builds? Without a doubt, it's my Thor hammer for sure. And also my power hammer. Nice. I'm the guy that people come to when they can't figure things out. We're going to be making shark teeth. Uh, it consists of everything from making an electric guitar to making a ice cream cart. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are going to throw at us. My name is Austin Peter, and I'm from Marietta, Georgia. Some of my favorite builds aren't necessarily the most complicated builds I've worked on. My favorite build is our chicken coop. There was no blueprint for it. There's a whole wall with a window that we have a pulley system that lets out the chickens. I really want to represent millennials out there that, that have absorbed knowledge and want to show their work ethic. Us young guys got what it takes. All right. All right. But he wants to represent the yeah. younger people. I like he wants, that. He wants to see how much. Plus, I love Georgia. I got family in Georgia, and I like Georgia. So that's kind of cool. Well, it's always on your mind. Wow. You never tried stand-up, did you? What we need from you guys today is a barbecue that can really move. Inside your crates are materials needed to build a barbecue on the go. Having used these materials will test both your ingenuity and your ability. But that's not all. Tim, hit them with it. I threw in two fully functional bicycles. Tear them apart. Do whatever you can to make them work for your barbecue on the go. Two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, your call. Show us something new and exciting, a signature design that says flat out, I am the best maker. And you got five days to do this, OK? OK, gentlemen, your crates have arrived. I'm counting it down now. Three, two, one, run with it. I'm running, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want the neck on both bikes, and I want this part of the rear end on one bike. I use the beating method. I am very seriously thinking about cutting this thing right in half. I don't want to tell people how to do it. It doesn't hurt to make a drawing of where you're going. Yeah. Some people like to methodically think out, I am truly a more like jump in type of guy. I push the button first to see what happens. <laughs> All right. I'm in the process of, of mocking this up. You know, this is my general shape and just gonna tweak it and get to where I need to be. Wish me luck. I would have used one of my motorcycle engines. Day one, I, I got to think through things. And what I know is that I need a frame for the engine to bolt to, for the rear axle to attach to. And then I can work towards the things that I maybe hadn't planned fully. So now it's just working out the nuances that, that I uh, run into. You know, Tim, it's funny. These two builders could not be more different. I mean, you've got Austin there, who is methodical and slowly thinks everything through. And then you've got the daredevil, Ruben, who jumps right in. I tell you, it's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. I came into this competition wanting to do something different, and I definitely did that. It's my signature. It's got all the things that I wanted. I think it's a winning item, and the reason why, it's unique. I don't know what Ruben built, but I think my chances of winning are awesome. It's got function, form, and just overall looks bad. Man, I'm looking forward to seeing this close up. I asked them to build the ultimate barbecue bike, and man, am I impressed. Ruben has created a badass tricycle modeled after an American hot rod with a grill that looks like a V8 motor. I mean, look at these welds. He has incorporated his brazing torch and designed a chain-driven steering mechanism with a cool side saddle bag that holds a mini keg. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This creation could be toughed out muscle.
However, look at this. Austin has gone full commando with his blacked out military themed mobile barbecue and even incorporated his brazing torch to heat the grill. Nice touch. He's got an army ammunition box to hold all the grilling tools you could possibly need, as well as an old fashioned ooga horn to annoy your neighbors and know it's dinner time. Top it off, powered by a 212cc motor. I don't know, with this creation, Austin definitely has added more power. Wow. We are judging these builds on design, oh. ingenuity, and functionality. Only one maker can take a criteria. What do you like about Rubens? The Probably design is cool. It's cool. This is more utilitarian. So right off the bat, I got to go design here with Rubens. OK, I'm going with design with you on this. All right, good. Next. Ingenuity. Look at that. It articulates yeah, yeah, out so yeah, that you can yeah. bring it all the way there. Rubens has diffused out a little bit. He's got a much wider range of flame going on here. Austin is all in one place. Ah, gosh darn it. Hey, I, hey, I hey. love the ingenuity going on here because he's got the engine happening. He's got the he's got a really cool horn. horn. Yeah, I'm going ingenuity. We're going okay. here with Austin. Next function. This is better this grill. Is, has a better grill. It's got better storage. But you don't want to take too sharp a turn. And Austin added a functioning motor. He did. He put a motor on it, but this guy built a grill that looks like a motor. Uh, just can't decide which one of these is cooler. I do know that I'm hungry. Oh! What? Lost it. You dropped it? Yeah. The hamburger. It fell through. Uh. <laughs> April, come on over and join us. Hey! Ruben and Austin, welcome. How's it going? Yes. We just rode both of your barbecues, and they are amazing. You did a great job. So, Austin, your theme was military. Do you think that was the most original idea you should go with? I think it developed into that. You know, I needed something to latch that grill down, and I'm looking around the shop, and I found that army box, and I just went off with that. Well, I have to be honest here, Austin. When it comes to ingenuity, you scored the most points with that motor. If I saw that at Home Depot, I would buy it. And Ruben, a man after my own heart, a small block engine design for a barbecue, that was a stroke of genius, I'll tell you. Now, just curious, did you ever take any sharp turns in your device? Yeah, yeah you kind of got to lean into your turns a little bit when you do make them. You might want to mention that when you send it out, when well, you got a vehicle really that's motorcycles. got two canisters of explosive gas. <laughs> In all seriousness, Ruben, a chain-driven steering mechanism, an amazing design. Craftsmanship on the forks and the welds, a thing of beauty. Very original build, Ruben, one of a kind. All right, do you guys want to know who won this? Yes. yes. The maker with the winning barbecue is... Ruben. What? Congratulations! <laughs> Your build was a masterpiece. It was original, unlike anything we've ever seen. I mean, the design of the steering mechanism was beyond impressive. And the craftsmanship you displayed, putting it all together, blew us away. Great job. And you also won $5,000. Courtesy of iFixit. They're also going to be sending you this ultimate toolkit. Oh, thank you. Ruben, how do you feel about this? I feel great. I got to tell you something. It's the most stress I ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> I mean, it was bad. But I got to throw this out. Austin came down to these little tiny details. It was neck and neck. But you made a beautiful barbecue on the go. I really enjoyed my time on Assembly Required. You know, I, I love a challenge. And no one likes losing. But I'm happy for Ruben. Can't wait to see what he built. It was really awesome hearing uh, Tim and Richard say my name at the end. I truly did not expect it. It is stressful, it's not a joke, it, it is real. Once that clock starts ticking, it's game on. Thank yeah. you guys, it was an amazing build, it was a lot of fun. I've gotta to go to the EMS right now because I think I burned my hand, but that's my problem, not yours. Congratulations, both of you, but especially Ruben, thanks for being part of this, guys. I really appreciate it. All right, it. thanks, Austin, yeah. thanks, Ruben. Have you guys, fun, guys, take care.